What's going on, folks? I am Goat, and welcome back to Warframe. Hi. Hi, hi. I don't know why I'm pointing at Veilbreaker. We already know that fucking released. Um, man, look at this. Veilbreaker released eight motherfucking days ago, and we're already at the fifth fucking hotfix. Imagine that. Welcome to fucking Zeraman 2.0, I guess. Um, so I want to talk, and this isn't like me trying to be negative, man. It's really not, but like, if you guys look at forums on the uh you know the ammo change feedback if you look at the forums on warframe and i can pull that up if anybody wants me to in another video but the forums it's not split like not in a even keel kind of way it's really not it's more like a um 85 percent of the community is like what the fuck did you do to the merciless mods and the rest are like oh i love this change it's great like bro really come on but we're gonna look at this hot fix okay because what the fuck and there was two hot fixes by the way one of them was very very much necessary hot fix uh 32.0.4 was a fix it, it was basically like hot fix 32.0.3 was called uh calls garrison release hello and then um point four was fixing shit in calls garrison because apparently we can't get it right even a week after the shit fucking releases that's annoying as fuck and then hot fix point five hit and it was just like hey um there's a bunch of fucked up shit let's fix this a little bit more so here we are we're looking directly at warframes page so obviously like i said 32.0.5 released on the 15th of the of uh, september okay apparently my fucking phone is just going to continue to fucking vibrate like a fucking asshole whatever who cares right so break normal mission changes and fixes so, I mean, they just added some odds and ends, crazy weird shit, right? Nothing, nothing insane. Um, really nothing insane. Like, but this is, you know, the break, nar uh, break normal mission and changes, right? So we got calls garrison changes, you know, syndicate rank. Um, so you can actually see what rank you are because like, I was under the impression that as you completed missions, I was assuming there was going to be multiple missions, not just multiple things. We're going to go over calls garrison in this video, by the way. Um, but like, I just don't fucking understand where the brain's at on this shit. Instead of giving you the chance, like to give you like daily rep, like any other goddamn syndicate in this fucking game. No, we're going to do this weekly. Okay. So like, as you complete the weekly fucking mission, oh, by the way, you get the next rank. We think we don't even really know for sure. That's what the guess is. Um, I do like the fact that fixed many of Chipper, uh, uh, many cases of Chipper not appearing in the Drifter camp after saving him on Venus. That's an interesting one. There was another one in here uh, about fixing Chipper in general, about like the way he talked, because honestly, he sounds like a fucking Australian boomhauer. So that's a fucking thing. Um, but it's like we wait a fucking week to get what we got, which wasn't really that fucking amazing, right? I'm going to cover why, because there's some good here and then there's some annoying as fuck, okay? We also got Prime Resurgence that released, so that's okay. Like, I'm, I'm actually, there's so many people that are just so pissy about Prime Resurgence. And, like, from my personal opinion, I don't have a problem with Prime Resurgence. It allows newer players to, you know, get their hands on, um, you know, Prime Frames. And if it's a way for the company to make money, well, you know, call it a cash grab if you want, but welcome to capitalist society, motherfucker. I don't know what to fucking tell you, okay? It is what it is. Companies got to make money, otherwise they can't give us free to play. I mean, something has to give somewhere. You don't have to pay for fucking Regal Aya, unless you want cosmetics. You can farm just Aya from all sorts of different drop locations, go turn in with Varzia for relics, and then go farm the shit that you want. So, stop your bitching about that. Prime Resurgence is what it is, it's here to fucking stay, get over it. Okay, everybody was up in arms about it. And the only thing I was up in arms about with Prime Resurgence was the fact that they thought Endo was a good trade-off instead of Platinum. But they fixed that. So since then, I have no complaints. I think it's perfectly fine. I think it's a good option. Instead of just having a bunch of fucking frames vaulted all the goddamn time, give people the option to get some better fucking prime frames and whatever crap happens to hit that rotation. So cool, right? Hope you're on the same page. If not, suck it. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, so yeah, so I do have a problem with a few things here, though, okay? It's like fixed multiple players playing as Steinex causing the most recent rally point cast to remain active even if it's the weaker of all casts okay i have a problem with this i actually have a big fucking problem with this okay this is fucking stupid 
Like, let's just go here to the back of the ship, because of course the drift camp's fucking retarded. So we have to go through this stupid teleport horse shit. So whatever. Oh, Trojan man. That's what, really what I should name him instead of Spartan. Okay. Rally point, right? So you aggro enemies and you get energy regen. So whoever has the best fucking build is really who you want doing shit. Gives it the best radius, gives it the best aggro, so everybody's chasing that asshole, because obviously if he's got the best build, probably going to be the most survivable. Gives you the best energy rate regeneration, and it gives you the best shield buff. But according to them, okay, according to them, this is a fucking problem, right? This is a fucking problem. So how are we going to fix this shit? Their idea of fixing this bullshit is, hey... If you get a bunch of Steinex in a group, let's make the weakest player the one giving the energy regen and shield boost. Fuck off. So now you have less shields, less energy regen. What the fuck? Who the fuck is doing drugs at DE right now? Like, can y'all seriously drop the fucking crack pipe? Seriously, can y'all, like, go to fucking AA and kill the alcohol for a minute? Seriously, what the fuck is going on in that place? This shit is breaking my head. Like, I have never seen an update this stupid before. Like... Everything is based around who's strongest, who's got the best build. This one's like, hey, bro, find the weakest guy in the fucking party if you've got multiple Steinex. No, 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 this ain't a scene from 300. This is like, you know, a fucking buck 50, okay? Because a buck 50 can't hold up. I don't know what to tell you. Dumb. Oh, my God. Oh, it's stupid. Oh. The only bonus is that your active rally point can still be overridden by a weaker cast. I say bonus. Haha. -ha. Your active rally point can still be overridden by a weaker cast if there is fewer than 10 seconds left on your active buff. So basically, you can have an OP, super high strength build that's doing you a whole lot of good. And if you're un inside of 10 seconds and some weak ass fucking Mastery 6 comes in with some janky ass fucking build that ain't doing jack shit because he's trying to do a shield gate build with this motherfucker... Go fuck yourself with overshields. Go fuck yourself with energy regen. You about to die. Okay? That's dumb. Now, something else. Now, I do like the fact that they fix the Axios Javelin, Javelin not triggering the Vortex when successfully pinning enemies to a wall or a ceiling. I found that to be a massive fucking janky little problem with the Axios Javelin, so that actually makes it much more viable. Like, before, it was like you'd hit one motherfucker and somebody on the other side of a wall wouldn't at least be Vortex to the wall for a moment. It's stupid. So, other changes. Sentient resource drop chance changes reduced from 50% to 7% in Archon Hunt specifically. Now, here's exactly where my fucking gripe from hell is, okay? This is literally Digital Extreme saying, hey, here's more Railjack. I'm going to stick it up your ass. With a smile. And they want us to thank them for it. Again. I don't know if anybody noticed, okay? I, I legit... I have no idea if anybody fucking noticed this shit or not. But has anybody been collecting Shidu components during Archon hunts? I had one Shidu part, if I remember correctly. I may not have even had one. I may have traded it to one of my clan guys. So obviously, this is my primary account, Goat 80 account. No, we're not worried about that. Oh, look. What's that? She do barrel, she do chassis, she do receiver. I do remember I did trade off the she do part because it was the chassis I had. Or no, no, it was the receiver I had. I got all these from Archon hunts. Now, yes, we've only had two Archon hunts. I've done three. Obviously, the th the one in the middle I did was to help my clan mates kind of understand the fight a little bit better and understand kind of the attenuation DPS issues that are going on with that bullshit, which I still think is horseshit, but whatever. Attenuation to fucking control a boss fight is fucking dumb. Okay, I don't give a shit what anybody says, but whatever. But I got all these from a bo from doing the Archon hunts, and then they do this hotfix today, and it's like, oh, yeah, get the fuck out of here. No, you don't get this shit no more. So instead of having a 50% chance for resource drops, which these components are resource drops, okay... They don't want you to do that because they want Shidu to basically drop into fucking Veil vale Proxima at the at the anomaly. So they just dropped this bitch from 50% to 7%. That is some bullshit. If we gotta fight a bunch of sen if we have to buy a fight a bunch of sentients and fucking Conculus show up, give us a fucking chance for Shidu parts. That's the motherfucker that drops them anyway. If I remember correctly, it's Conculus or Battleus, I can't remember. Um 
So I find that to be really fucking aggravating because like I farmed them in three fucking hunts. If you're going to throw a buttload of fucking sentience at me, at least let me get some benefit other than a bunch of fucking intact sentient cores that I could get on the fucking planes of Eidolon, by the way. It said, sir, for some brief history in this change, since uh, sentience used to only be found uh, as rare enemies on Lua, so high drop chance for regional resources was justified. Or resources was justified. On their inclusion in Orphix Venom in 2020, we used uh, a custom override to their drop table to reduce the high resource drop chance to a, something more sustainable, basically meaning they didn't want us farting, farming Shidu. Let's just be honest. Um, on their recent inclusion in the Archon Hunts, the drop table custom override was mistakenly not added. This led to the player, or players uh, earning over six times the amount of resources typically collected on a brief window of time, which led to false positive trade bans. Because a lot of people don't want to have to go to the anomaly to farm Shidu because they don't want to do Railjack. They won't say it here, but let's be honest. That's what they go to Vale for. Go farm Shidu. It is what it is. It's whatever. Again, though, no. even with all these hot fixes, still no fix to the Merciless Arcanes, which is fucking dumb. Let's just be honest. It's fucking stupid. Okay. Like, I don't, I don't understand why they think with so much of the community in arms about gutting the shit out of the, out of the Merciless Arcanes, that it's just okay to leave it this way because they think this is the, this is the way they're going on Mandalorian. This is the way. You know, that's what they're doing. They're just fucking going full on Mandalorian and just saying this is the way and ex expecting us to just fucking take it. And I'm telling you right now, they keep this shit up and they're going to lose a chunk of their fucking community to Destiny and anything else that's not fucking pulling a straight up Mandalorian and saying this is the way. Just putting it out there. So, let's look at Calls Garrison because there is good and bad in here. I think Calls Garrison is fun so far. So, first of all, one of the updates. Come on, mate. Get over here. Come on. Show you what all the fuss is about. <laughs> Welcome to Chipper. Pretty much everything Carl dropped off. We can see our rank. That's good. We can now also change like we would in any other syndicate to name, default, and price, which is great. I prefer default so that way I can see what's available by rank, right? Pretty fucking simple. Um, so I like the change to Chipper. You I like the like fact that I, I can got. take it up with Carl. No I, worries. I can at least understand Chipper now. So call. Here's the mission Nothing for come here. sneaky sabotage. No worm. No grenier. <clears throat> if you take your time, complete the mission without dying or without being veiled. You simply have to pay attention to where the uh, deacons are spawning Call and stay itchy. the fuck away from them. Kill itchy them. Kill Normer Scoom. Call, shut the fuck up, I'm talking. Um <laughs> It's completely doable. As you see, I've got all mine completed. Uh, remove five veils from uh, using veil breaker. That's your third ability with call. Let's call be call ready to deploy. I really wish call would shut the fuck up before I have to turn all the fucking audio down. Um, these are just Solaris Voxelar or uh, Solaris United people just standing around. You know, so jockeys standing around with a veil on. If you can't see random ass people just standing there staring at a wall for no goddamn reason, I don't know what to tell you. Blue Get some glasses. Girls say we got veils to break. I got mine. Complete a mission in under 15 minutes. It's doable in 6 to 10. Just be direct and get it done. It's not that bad. The gene stamps. I don't have a problem with Blue girl find Narmer worms. Wow, does call it really need to be like every 20 worms. seconds call says something stupid in like total Grenier fashion? Guess so. Gene stamps aren't that bad because when you get close to a uh, a person, you know, a dead Grenier guy that you're picking up, basically, call I think it's like... work to do. Hear this shit? Uh, I think it's like their dog tags, basically, is what it looks like. It's like Grenier dog tags, so that's cool. The ones that suck, that absolutely fucking suck balls in the worst way possible, is finding the K-Drive parts and collecting Chipper's tools. That is some fucking bullshit, okay? And we're going to cover why. So we're going to do this. Huh. About time. Thanks, Cole. Shut up, you ass. And yeah, you can customize them. I'm sorry, the blown out look, not so cool. 
So this where Narmer make veils. There's like nothing here. Others. Okay, until you get past Call the first security Saint camera Blada. in this mission, there is literally nothing mm -hmm. here. You don't need to search. We can rig these veils to overload and short I've checked out every it so many times. In range. Anybody Whole else? Narmer cells liberated at a stroke. Does anybody else miss Ready? the dodge roll function of call came from the new war? Because I sure do. Still say blow up better. So up to this point, there is jack shit. Okay, once you get past this first camera. There is literally jack shit, okay? Now here's where you start getting farmable parts. There is one potential rail jack look, uh, or one potential piece right here, okay? Just from the get, right there, okay? So you do your security cameras, okay? Call, sweetie, one, see that big magna locked door up ahead? You need bank, to get on the other side. Bank, camera, you darling and bank, cool, love it. Call, okay. I'm impressed. How did you figure that out? Mm. Next Point piece. And click. Oh my sweet Jesus. Right fucking here. Okay? This is K-Drive. Uh, Chipper's Toolkit. Even though this bitch blends in like a motherfucker, if I remember correctly, it's going to be right there, somewhere in this area. Okay? There's also a, pan a chance for a K-Drive component to be right here. I'm gonna go step by step. I'm not gonna do cuts and shit like a lot of people do. Okay. So you be careful coming through here. Garcot spotter. What up, bro? Clean kill. Clean kill. Please forgive my struggles. You guys know I suck with this particular cipher. And yes, for some reason, even though it's not listed, the hotfix of dead zone for controller has been changed, and I'm bumping my controller because it's terrible. Another potential location for K-Drive part right there. Another potential location for Chipper's tool I did find was right there. That's another down. Now, I'm not going to say this was all me. This was actually my son. Funny enough, this is my, my Marine who's home on leave. Oh, hi, Deacon. How are you? Hey, let's just run across here, buddy. See that blue thing? There's a K-Drive part over there. Here's a K-Drive part right there. Okay. And then that blue one over there on that little step. Let's see if we can get over to it without this deacon wigging the fuck out. Okay. Okay, drive part right there. They're all symbolized by blue. Okay. So we're going to come over here, do our thing, avoid the deacons. Because the next stuff that we're worried about is down here anyway. Another chipper toolbox right motherfucking here. Okay. Dead guy right there. Cool. All right. Another dead guy right here in this motherfucking box. Right here. There's one of your Solaris people. I don't know what the fuck to tell you, okay? Narma Solaris worker. If you don't see these people standing here, Jesus be with you because you need to go find them. Like, go to church. Okay? That's the best I got. Uh, chipper toolbox right there. Okay? Yeah, this took some hunting, dude. This was fucking annoying. The one my boy found that I thought was absolutely fucking hilarious... Oh, that bitch shows through the floor. Wow. It's right here, just on the other side of this grate. Like, right there where that waypoint is. I shit you not. Oh, yo, okay, I'm sorry, right there. It's literally right there. So that's 3K drive parts right there. So if it wasn't already completed, I could do it now. So there is another chipper toolbox location right here. For some reason, they're like hiding this bitch under stairs. I have no idea why. Guess what? Look, another Solaris person. How hard is this? Come on. Hey, look. Another fucking dead guy down here. Cool. Love that. Cool. Good stuff. Okay, so we gotta do this. Whoops. Oh, I didn't. Oh my god. Yep, I'm gonna fail. Yep. I failed because I suck ass. Let's just do it with a mouse because I know I'm actually surprisingly even though janky is still better. With a mouse, maybe. Okay, that's a little better. Cool. I am going to look. Hey, hey, guys, look, another Solaris guy. I mean, is that already three without even looking? Oh, Big Daddy Deacon's mad. Look at him, man. He's fussy. Yeah, so when you see this guy, just stay away. It's just like the new war. Just stay the fuck away from Big Daddy Dietrich. And anybody who doesn't get that joke, we can't be friends. <laughs> I'm literally going to torture myself through this. 
dodging deacons and shit. Why is this asshole here? Seriously? This guy is fucking my day up. Come on, bro. Oh, a time limit, man. Good job. Oh, yeah, he's gonna come back. Fuck this bitch. Okay, so I've got the panel over there. There's my deacon, buddy. Okay. Chipper toolbox right here. There's sometimes a Solaris guy in here. There's also sometimes a K drive part in here. Got a dog tag guy right there. As you see, the waypoint flashing. Okay, we're gonna make sure what this guy's doing because he's had a minute to sit there and stew like an asshole. By the way, when you piss this guy off and hide in a room, boy, he sits there and mouth breathes like a motherfucker. Oh, shit. See, here we go. He's mad. Look, bro. I'm not looking. Just go away. He's gonna come over and butt fuck me. Oh my god, Goodbye, just get out of my view. Brother. Okay, is this guy still here? Who's he at? Okay. Yeah, he gets fussy, bro. Oh my god. Once he turns to the other side, he stays that way for a minute, so we're good. Okay, so now we're gonna come across. The call is not subtle. Okay, okay so y'all see this big hanging box up here, right? Little stuff up here, man. This was my boy, too, man. My motherfucking boy. Hooking dad up with some fucking knowledge. I mean, granted, he was watching video, so, you know, I don't want to give him too much credit. He might get a big head, but. <laughs> So if you jump up here, walk the rail, guess what? There's a motherfucking soma cord up here, baby. Boom. I don't know why it even shows you can still collect it, but whatever. But it's also good to be up on the rail for a whole other fucking reason. And be careful because if you fall, you will trigger the shit out of these deacons. And that is not what you want to do. There's potentially another K-Drive part right there. So yeah. Here we go. Guys, I'm telling you, I hate this fucking cipher. Some people love this shit. I fucking despise it. Hurts my brain. Now, word of the wise, when you're doing... Because as far as I'm reading as of right now, there's only, like, three of these mission types that Calls Garrison is going to have, Sneaky Sabotage being one of them. So, definitely remember all this shit, because uh, we're going to be doing this again. For all this farming for call, man. Got target. But do yourself a favor. Kill these two Moas as you're going through the mission, especially if you're not trying to die. Kill these two Moas because they will come and attack you as soon as you unlock the ship. But guess what? We're coming up on another potential location for a K drive part, which is going to be right there in this motherfucking box. Okay, boom. Cool. Slowest camera in motherfucking history. Like, this is some 1980s tech right here. I think shit out of alien isolation is better than You're this. You're done. Time to go through, Carl. Sneak, sneak, sneak. <laughs> Smart. Bro. They seem to have fixed some of the jump problems, but not all. Okay. Yep, yep, um, yep. Uh, up, and then over, and what's supposed to be down is actually up, and boom. Okay. Oh. Now, you can climb the wall up here and then have Moas up your ass, but honestly, you can climb the wall and wait for a Mo to turn around and kick its ass. Huh? More. Ah, you done! God damn it, now Deacon's pissed. At least with this, the deacons actually just calm the fuck down and you see it. There's a meter on these guys. It's like, oh, fuck yeah. Inside. Now what? The fun part. 
Find the production controls. Okay, another uh, another K drive component right here. I've obviously missed one of the uh, chipper components. Oh, you can see one K drive part. We'll go back to that. Call C. And here's where the evil's made. One K drive part now the right part. here. Call. I need you to rekey the boot sequence. Do that, and I'll have a split okay, second. Okay, so I would highly recommend doing this as far as this Hurry. goes to get through quickly. You'll see one symbol right there. So the back one. Just follow the red lines. Call not understand. Now, put this camera up Look here. Around. Do you see anything that yeah, could tell right you the there. key sequence? So it's going to be that weird double fork down. Now go to this camera. Activate your little drone, and your symbol's going to be right there where the reticle is. Just have to give it a moment. Okay, so like the YT fork thing, which is exactly what it is already. Boom. Last symbol right there. YT fork thing. Boom. So you just point at it, boom, and then click the big fucking red box. Boom, we're done. Now we have a gun! Well done, Carl. Now to make some noise. They have to think this is a raid. That way, they won't suspect tinkering. Look how the, deaker, uh, the deacons just locker. literally You're disappear. Need a gun. So obviously you see there's the K-Drive board right there, Call which is the easiest upgrade. part. As you see, K drive board right there. Call. Deacons are hunting you. Also, a part that will pop but up here. Your tinkering just got me access to this facility's automatic plasma tool. It's also a part that will pop up right here. It'll melt anything. Dead guy over there. There's deacons. actually one on each side. Grab a target marker. Another dead guy over here. Another Solaris guy right here. Again, if you can't see these guys, man, I don't know what to tell you. Go find Jesus. Another K-Drive part right here. Another K-Drive part right there. And there's only another one other location that we've noticed with all of our running through, and it's up here up top. And yeah, obviously I missed one of the chipper box locations, but when I finish this, we're going to cover one. Right, Clegra. Or a plague. I love the fact he enunciates it like you no other Grenier in this already. game does. Is anybody else surprised at how shitty the Exorcist is? The Exorcist is a powerful fucking gun in this what in this game. Not here. Great. Now you just show me where to okay, shoot. So the other location try not to that I know of is eyelashes. right here. Boom. Oh. Can't drop a waypoint now, but okay. Cool story, bro. Okay, so here comes the part of the whole not dying bit. Boom, deacons go. You see the orange flash. This is how you do the not dying. Let all the MOAs come to you. Because if you jump down there, these assholes are literally just going to come and try to fuck your ass up. If you're on the timed bit, you're going to have to jump down and do it. If you're not on the time bit... Oh, didn't quite get him that time. Cool story, guys. Okay. Oh shit, there's another one? Really? Bitch. Seriously, with the not dying thing, just take fucking time. Like, I watched one guy's video after doing mine. Uh, I was watching it earlier today when I woke up, and this dude literally did all of them at once. And it, and it was like literally his first try because there was all the dialogue and there was no chipper yet. Yeah, that was great. I was like, what the hell? Okay, so there's no other MOAs. So you're going to have another band of Happy Mary Moas up here in between all the trailers that are ran running down a ramp at you. And although 300 meters doesn't sound like that far, uh, this gets real tricky real quick if you fuck up. Because if you walk away from the spawn points, you will fucking die. Bitch, I didn't realize you were a stompy asshole. Okay, he's dead. Cool, love that. Oh, you bitch. The fuck are you shooting me? Good kill. Oh, you. 
Bitch, where the hell did you come from? Okay, I got three, uh, 370 health. I am chilling. Okay, I have regen my health. Now let's go do what we need to do. Yeah, there is one other location that I haven't showed, obviously, for, for chipper stuff. Bitch, would you stop with the rockets? Four. Four of the brothers. Four of the brothers. Oh. How about for the healing? Thanks for that. Nope, still didn't fix that jumping bug. And I'm glad they're on top of that one. Mm. Nothing like doing a rail slide with your cock. Makes everything worthwhile. Okay, so we're gonna have more friends coming up right there, as you see. Now, if you back up, they will just continue the auto spawn. Fire. Oh, hi, Mr. Deacon. This big bitch. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Been through worse. Bitch moved. See how those bitches just fucking auto spawn again, though? And so will the deacon. Oh, there he is. There he comes. Yeah, as soon as he tries to fucking come at your ass, blow him up. Blue girl shoot good. Man. Another deacon up here. This is a guy that'll usually try to bury you. <laughs> deacon Scoom can die. Da, 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 da. Now we're gonna have a whole bunch of assholes coming up right here. Yeah. And then kill Big Spider. Um, call something big is coming. Your I don't know, my first way. time through, I probably look like a total jackass call when I did this. Can handle. Come on, Big Spider. Come on, come on, come on, bitch. Come on, you're just gonna stand up. Oh, you fucking pussy. Oh, let's still hit him. Okay, cool. Really Why does daughter look like she's having an orgasm during this part? Can someone please explain that to me? Oh, I really see. Mm, I, I love, love this. this. Oh, bitch. What's up, bro? Yeah, cool story. Hey, like that? Good night. Weak machine. So aside from missing the one chipper thing, that's everything. Now, I did that in 18 minutes and 40 seconds, and that was actually pointing everything out. If I wouldn't have been pointing every single little thing out along my way, I could have easily done that, and I didn't die. So the only thing that we wouldn't have had in there was the 15 minutes, which if I, again, if I wouldn't have been pointing everything out, I would have easily done. And then the chipper's tools. But that's the one that honestly I have a bigger complaint about than anything else, because it's only like five or six places that I've seen. And it blends in with the room so fucking good. Like it shimmers a little bit, kind of like, um, like the weird uh, dead Grenier or corpus bodies that you find in certain missions on like Earth and Venus. Um, but it's, it's insane. So if nothing else, I hope that this video at least helps you with this week's stuff because I'm going to get this posting as soon as I'm done hitting record. And um, yeah, this is just like the Calls Garrison mission. I don't know what to think of this yet, guys, because obviously you only get to rank two, right? Like you don't rank up any further and you can only get 105 stock a week from what it shows. So like you don't get you don't get any higher rank for doing it more. 
Me guns are as good as me everything. So you're just stuck at rank two perpetually. Well, la dee da. Oh, la dee da. Shut up, So yeah, so I mean, I don't know what to think of this yet. It's fun. But some of these missions are kind of stupid. Okay, like as far as the way they're placed. Like, I think they need to make them a little bit more evident. Um, the K-Drive part's being blue, that's cool, but man, they hide them in some of the weirdest fucking places, so yeah, okay, so it's a little bit of a challenge and annoying. The Chipper's Toolbox, come on, man, light that bitch up, something, something better than what the fuck you're giving us for that, because that thing is stupid. Um, the, the, the unveiling the, the, the Solaris people, that's easy, you know, the not dying, that's easy. The time limit is easy. I mean, for God's sake, how much time did I spend fucking just going to specific locations for waypoints? That's three minutes easy that I took, like almost probably more like five minutes just roaming around extra locations I didn't need to go to. So, like, it's fun. It really is. Don't get me wrong. It's very fun. But they they need to fix it. Like, they kind of need to streamline this a little bit more. I hope that the next week has already been streamlined so it's not quite so stupid. Because, man, oh my god. Apparently the fucking... Uh, the uh, K drive components actually on the uh, the first hotfix for this weren't even like they didn't have like a glowing emissive color to them, so like you basically had to stand on top of them to see them. That would have been fun. I would have been like almost furious, because like obviously except for the board you can't see the parts. <laughs> so that would have been annoying as hell. They need to do the same thing with chippers, like a different color, because like making the uh, K drive parts blue, the end of the extra just is blue. So it looks like you're running around with one of those K-Drive parts. So for a quick glance, you're like, oh shit, I found oh no, that's the end of my gun. We did that a bunch. Yeah, me and my boy, my boy can vouch for that shit. Yeah, but it was like, oh yeah, there, oh no, that's the end of the gun. Shit, my bad. Yeah, this was a slog. Is a slog because it's new content, but I failed to hopefully help you guys succeed. So I don't know. Hopefully you find it helpful. Either way, catch you in the next one, all right?